now we can get into the news. Okay, so let's start off. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I think I forgot to set this up. Well, we'll just switch from cam to cam. I'll keep an eye on the timer. Um, because we're talking about 2018. We didn't have a chance to talk about uh, the year of 2018. Um, and uh, we didn't uh, get our, our final thoughts on the year. It is now 2019. A new year, brand new year, new games and whatnot. But we were not remiss to talk about last year's uh, events and what other stuff that happened that stood out to us. Um, so, uh, Greg, you want to start up with this or do you want me to go and if you took it to... Uh, I, I mean, like, this year has been a, a fascinating year in terms of, um... You mean 2018? Sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, because I'm trying to pull up, what I'm trying to pull up on my phone right now is, uh, on, um, Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Uh, they usually compile a list of, like, the biggest news stories mm -hmm. in, uh, 2000 or whatever year you're trying to look at. There we go. There's 2018. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um... No, this year has been been a fascinating year uh, for for like news stories too. Um, you know, this was this was the year that we you know we got the Overwatch League, which was a lot of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. um, but this year was also like a, a big year for competitive gaming in general. Uh, the esports scene um, really like blowing up more than it had been. Um, I think uh, more and more people are understanding what esports is and how important it is to the sports scene so that's that's a fascinating thing um hmm. i'm scrolling down this list uh <gasps> yeah there's i mean there's a few stories that were like downers like cliff lazinski's uh boss key studio productions company uh closed down yeah yeah that was a big um one. yeah that sucked uh I mean, the thing about this year also was, like, we had a lot of rough stories. Like, the Telltale situation was... Ooh. Yeah, that that's that was, I think, the roughest uh, coming, out of, coming out of last year um, with the layoffs did, and everybody yeah. being affected by it. Right. Um, you know, I think gaming had one of its biggest tragedies this year, and that was the shooting during the Madden tournament. Yeah, yeah, that was another big one. Um, but in, in the same, in that same breath, you know, we, we, like I said, we had a, we had a good year in terms of, uh, the esports community coming together and, and, and being something bigger and, uh, a lot more interesting, uh, you know, people supporting each other when it comes to these events. Um, it's, it's been a fascinating year, uh, just because it's not so much about the games right now as much as it is about um how do i say this correctly not so much about the games themselves and more about what is 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 happening within the communities you know um does that make sense what i just said i i, I believe i believe so like i think that the the media attention the focus was less on the games in 2018 and more on the community, more on the people and personalities. Um, especially that it was kind of shown, in, or it was shown in 2018 that people and devs ha are not just numbers and people who made the games. They actually have lives and they can be affected by it. Um, so there is definitely, 2018 is definitely a, a year where that was more shown that we are all human, especially people within the game industry in all aspects. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 exactly what I'm what I was trying to get at was like it's it's been definitely a year of um, gamers are are more about what what they want to do and not so much the game that they're playing. I don't know. It, it's 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 been it, this is a positive thing that I'm trying to get at. Right, it's a positive right. thing that, that that's happening right now. So absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, when you see at the Game Awards, which was arguably the best Game Awards that we've had yet. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was uh, good. The, um, you know, a, a, a guy who is categorically, you know, would not have won that award mm -hmm. given a different circumstance 
win the award and go up on stage. Yeah. Um, and I'm talking about Sonic Fox, by the way. Just so oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Categorically, he would not have won any awards because of who he is. But the gaming community didn't care. It was about his skills. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's the point I'm getting at. Like that's that's the part that I think is important to kind of highlight. And and I'm not just with Sonic Fox, like in the community as a whole has been really positive. I mean you could you can sit there and point out like, oh there's there's negativity everywhere, but so there's negativity literally everywhere. Yeah. So pointing out the negativity <laughs> in those situations is needless. Yeah. Um yeah, and it every year every every section every community has it so there's anywhere really if you're thinking about it uh, sports politics whatnot it's it's out there I, I think that the main focus for 2018 for me when, it, when I was looking back is um you know I'm just kind of looking at uh, it's funny because you went through the, you went through the, the aspect of the community and the people I, I was kind of thinking more about the games and everything else wise uh, evil obviously was a big moment like evil always has those huge moments uh, for me, especially when, right. when Negan was announced, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Like anything is possible with with Tekken. Um, definitely seeing some of the games that came out that uh, in 2018 that surprised me and surprised everybody else. The fact that Monster Hunter World came out and actually did well in the U.S., which have never done before. They had some mediocre success here in the states, but they never had a huge success at, as Monster Hunter World. It's always been a huge thing in Japan, not in America. So the fact that now they got both, which is crazy to me, but also Capcom is in a really good state right now. They actually think reported like that was like one of the most sold games of all time right now. Yeah, I mean Capcom. That's the thing about Capcom right now is that like in 2017, you could have argued that their company was going to go under, that they were going to go belly up. Oh yeah, um, definitely. But this year, this year was a turnaround year for them. Oh boy, man! If you look back at their at their catalog for 2018, Mega Man 11, Monster Hunter World, and the DLC that followed uh, with it, um, the announcement of Devil May Cry 5 has a lot of people excited, including myself. If you have that. Uh, been paying attention to the podcast. No, uh, didn't hear that at all. Not at <laughs> all. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, Capcom was definitely on an upswing, uh, without, with the exception of the the fighting game division, which needs a lot of work. Um, well, I think you know. Also, I want to want to point out something because you mentioned DLC. Like, I think this year has also been an interesting year in terms of how the community is reacting towards uh, uh, DLC and microtransactions and loot boxes and situations like that. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, it seems to be that microtransactions aren't the problem. Uh, that people just hate not having an option. Um, like, I've argued the reason for loot boxes. Like, why they exist. And one of the big things is... Um, uh, and, I, and I, again, ad nauseum on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. One of the big reasons that, that, that people in general hate loot boxes or seem to hate loot boxes is because uh, of the, the random element, the, the, the quote-unquote gambling aspect, um, which, again, I don't really call it gambling because you're still getting something, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the, uh, the part that people hate is the is the random element you're not getting what you want but as i pointed out with certain games and fortnite um they're doing it right you don't really hear people bitch about fortnite's microtransactions you just hear people bitch about fortnite's fan base right yeah yeah you hear people complain about its popularity but in reality the reason no one bitches about its microtransactions is because a, um, you can spend ten bucks, get the season pass, earn enough points to get the season pass again. So you're extensively spending ten dollars, or you're spending ten dollars once. Um, and then on top of that, if you choose to spend extra cash, um, you can buy skins, but you're buying the skins outright. Mm-hmm. There's no loot boxes. Mm-hmm. Those are all microtransactions. Those are not that different than loot boxes. <laughs> right. Um, it's just it's just the, the 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 random angle is taken out. So, um, so I think that this year was definitely a, a turning point in how 
microtransactions are going to be handled. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we talked about how, I think it was the, was it Belgium? Yes, Belgium. Uh, Bel Belgium was the one who uh, banned loot boxes. Uh, the UK was to launch an investigation. Uh, Australia was in the mix for a bit. Hawaii was also doing an investigation or kind of, I think, also banning it. So there were several countries in 2018 uh, and the government taking a look at loot boxes and the game industry. Um, and that, that happened. And it spooked a lot of game developers and companies to not want to touch loot boxes for quite some time. So, um, yeah. 2018 has definitely been an interesting year. And 2018 is will go down in the... I'd say, in my opinion, and game-wise, I think 2018 was a pretty good year for games. I think... Yeah, absolutely. I think you know. I, I think the the more outspoken the gaming community gets about things, the better things will get. So mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. I'm 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 fascinated in next year. Uh, there was uh, um, oh my god, there was something. Oh, it's it's the Fortnite dances lawsuits that yeah. has me ex like extremely Same fascinated. Here. I want to know what happens. Like, yeah. how far can the law take that? And I just I, I just want to see yeah. if if it gets to that point. I was going to say, neither of us have a leg in that race at all. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious how it's going to end. But Agreed. 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 It's going to be an interesting thing when, as, as it goes on, but uh, we digress. All right. So hang on a second. Moving on.